uh, video we are going to see the softwares which uh, we can use to develop a spring boot application first we need to have a java software so i am going to use jdk 1.8 or you can use uh, any version above 1.8 and this is the link uh, for downloading this java and what we can do is we can search for java yeah we can see here and we can accept the license agreement here and then my system is 64 bit uh, when i click this it will get downloaded so what i have did is i have already downloaded this jdk so it is here so i'm going to install this so just double click that so first i'm going to install this jdk 1.8 followed by groovy then gradle then maven then spring command line interface then we are going to use some uh, id that is uh, integrated uh, development environment that is intel j idea so let me start with uh, java so it's getting installed so it is installing in uh, c drive it will take couple of time to install uh, the software so you can find this link in a description section where you can uh, search it and uh, you can download it and then you can install it so let us wait for some time to get installed So uh, it is showing uh, which folder it is going to install. I'm not going to change anything and I'm going to click on next. So we can see uh, Java SC development kit 8 update is installed successfully. Then we can click on close. Now what happened is uh, the software is installed in C then uh, program files then we can see java here and we can see jdk 1.8.0 here so what we have to do is first we have to set the path so just double click that and you can see a bin folder double click that now copy this address go to pc then right click and select properties then click on advanced system setting then click on environmental variable then I have to set the path click on new paste it click on ok and uh, we have to create one more thing called java home so java underscore home and we have to paste the path and what we have to do is we should uh, take out the bin and uh, this will be the java home click on ok click on ok again ok click on close to check whether uh, the java is installed in our computer go to command prompt type uh, java c you can find the list of uh, the lines here or you can type uh, java and you can check for the version that is java hyphen version and you, as you can see uh, JDK 1.8.0 is installed and uh, our first time is done we have installed uh, Java software then the next step is we need to install uh, Groovy copy this link in the description paste it in the browser and it will go into the Apache Groovy page and what you can do is click on download and uh, there is a link called download if you click on this download you can see uh, this kind of uh, zip file will be there so extract it so 
so extract this groovy and uh, we are going to use the groovy version 2.4.15 for our application and currently the groovy has a 3.0 version and this will have a lot of uh, jar files in it which will help us to uh, run a spring boot, boot framework so it will take some time yeah it is uh, extracted now copy this uh, folder and I'm going to paste it in uh, C drive so you can paste it in any folder or any drive but uh, normally uh, the system packages or the system uh, related things we can put it in C drive so this will take some time Yeah, it's done so now you open that and you can see something called a bin folder uh, open that you copy this uh, address again go to this PC right click and select properties go to system settings uh, click on environmental variable again go to the path add a new one paste it click on ok again ok ok so now to check whether uh, this groovy is installed in our machine so go to the command prompt type uh, groovy hyphen uh, version yeah so you can see this groovy 2.4.15 uh, uh, is installed in our machine so the second thing is over and next we will go for gradle so paste the address and you can see something called install gradle click on that and then um, <coughs> click on uh, install manually option and there you can see something called as binary only you, when you click on that what will happen is uh, mm, yeah what will happen is yeah you can see some kind of uh, folder like this so let me extract it again this will take some time so once it is done copy this folder go to C drive paste it so now it's pasted in the C drive now open that go to bin copy this again go to this PC right click select properties then advanced system setting environmental variable then click on path so click on new then uh, click on ok again ok ok now type cmd so to check whether the groovy is installed in our machine so the gradle so type gradle hyphen version yeah so now you can see the gradle 2.4.12 is installed so our third task is also over now the next step is we need to install uh, spring cli so copy the address paste it uh, here you can see 
this thing and click on the spring boot uh, CLI and you can get this uh, yeah you can get this spring boot CLI extract it now you can see uh, the folder copy this paste it in C drive and again the same thing go to the bin folder go to advanced system setting go to environmental variable open path select add new then set the path then select ok 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 then again you just check just type spring yeah you can see this kind of option so it is done so we have completed this and the next one is the may one thing copy this paste it in the url and you can see uh, the version click on this and you can s download it uh, like this extract it and this will take some time now copy this paste it in C drive now open that bin copy the address again go to advanced system setting environment variable click on path then paste the path select ok 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 then just go to the command prompt type mvn and you can see the maven is installed and you will get some error message because we have not given any input for this maven command and the last thing is uh, we need to uh, install the IDE for us go here click on this download and you can see uh, a software like this and when you double click that and you will get this software installed in your machine I have already installed uh, this because it will take some time so this is how uh, we will install uh, the packages for uh, running this spring boot first we need to install jdk 1.8 then groovy gradle maven spring cli then our id is intel j id and if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you